This is question 6 from paper 2 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're told that the Earth can be approximated as a sphere and we're given its radius and we're asked to calculate its volume. Correct to two significant figures. On your formula sheet, you're given the formula for the volume of a sphere. V is equal to four thirds times pi times r cubed. Now in this case, we're told r is 6,400. So our calculation is four thirds times pi times 6,400 cubed. Four thirds, four divided by three, times pi button, times 6,400 raised to the power, and this it's y to the power x, raised to the power three. And that gives me, now the answer's so large that it automatically goes into standard form mode in this calculator. One, point zero nine eight and so on and this calculator this little e stands for times 10 to the power and there's a 12 for the index for the 10 so that's it in scientific notation approximately we want two significant figures that's one and this zero is the second one, but we're chopping a nine off, so that zero would go up to one. So it's 1.1, 1 .1, that's the two significant figures, times 10 to the power 12. And it's a volume, so it's in kilometres cubed. So that's our answer to part A. Now part B involves comparing this volume of the Earth with the volume of the Moon. And we're wondering how many times greater the volume of the Earth is than the volume of the Moon. So we'd really want to know how many moons, if you like, fit into the Earth. We want to divide the Earth up into moon bits. So do we divide the volume of the Earth by the volume of the Moon uh, to get an answer? So part B, um, we take the volume of the Earth and divide it by the volume of the Moon. So the volume of Earth we know is 1.1 .1 times 10 to the power 12. And the volume of the Moon, we're told, is 2.2 .2 times 10 to the power 10. Now, several ways of doing this. Um, first way is to use calculators and put these numbers into our calculator. Now, on this calculator here, the EE button stands for times 10 to the power. That's not true in all calculators. Let me show you uh, different calculators. Let me get rid of this. Uh, this one, that button exp means times 10 to the power. And this one, there's times 10 to the power. And sometimes it'll be an EE button. And this Texas instrument calculator is quite awkward. You have to press second function button to get hold of this EE button. But again, this EE button means times 10 to the power. So times 10 to the power times 10 to the power, times 10 to the power. So let's, uh, let's go back to our calculation now. And we put in 1.1 times 10 to the power, 12, divided by 2.2 .2 
times 10 to the power 10. That gives me 50. So how many times the Earth volume is greater than the Moon? Earth volume is 50 times the moon, Moon's volume. Now there is another way of doing this. Uh, your 1.1 times 10 to the power 12 over 2.2 times 10 to the power 10. And that is to take your 1.1 divided by 2.2 and take your 10 to the power 12, divide it by 10 to the power 10. We multiply top and bottom by 10 here, we get 11 over 22, which is 1 half. And dividing powers of 10, we subtract the indices, so this would be 10 to the power 12, divided uh, minus 10, so that's 10 squared. So it's a half, of 100, which is 50 again. But when you're allowed calculators, I think this is the more reliable one. You're liable to make, possibly make mistakes with this calculation. So 50 times is the required answer.